baseball from the Lone Star State. We've got open air baseball for you on the show. It's the Detroit Tigers and the Texas Rangers. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. Singing a guy who could change this game with one swing of the bat, Mark Canna. He, of course, leads their team at home runs. Yeah, Boog, he's been such a force at the plate, and it seems like every time he connects, the ball is traveling out of the ballpark. So when you have such a threat like that, other guys in the lineup should get good pitches to hit because they're trying to get those outs instead of having to face him in a big situation. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So just about set now. And on the mound in this one, Jake Latz. Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club, and what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him, and it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point, maybe it's the motion, but just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. Matt Veerling, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. And that drops in for a strike. Now this is in the air down the line. And that drops foul. This guy at the dish excels in two strike counts. Got to be careful with him out there on the mound. And here it comes. And that's a fair ball. Handled that down and in breaking ball very well. I saw the break early coming from the other side and just let it get deep enough and drop the barrel on it at the very last moment. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Andy Abanez up now for the Tigers. And that one fouled off. And he deals. Swung on, belted. That one's deep. Going gone. A two-run blast. Third home run of the season, and now they're out in front. It's 2-0. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And, you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that. And probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel, and he got great extension on the follow-through to drive it out of here. Here's Mark Canna. First pitch misses. Lats. It is rookie season. He features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a slider, and he occasionally uses a curve. Nobody out with a pair of runs across in the frame. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. No. And that's off Two the balls. inside edge. No and it's 2-0. Oh. Can be tough to bounce back after a big home run. But nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. Ball. That one inside. Three balls and a strike. Three, one. Kicks and deals. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. On the ground a second. Might be two. Over to low. One out in the top of the first. And now the Tigers line up for manager A.J. Hinch. 
And something they've talked about needing to improve on moving forward is their ability to apply consistent pressure, Chris. Right now, it's not a club that gets on base enough. And sometimes, Boog, you just need a hitter to go up there and grind out and at bat maybe have 11, 12 pitches, and all of a sudden players get fired up in the dugout and they want to do the same thing. And before you know it, you start to get base runners on and you get a big hit, and all of a sudden you ride that way for a few days and go on a winning streak. That's something they definitely could use. Now the 0-1. And one. ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. The 2 1. And there's a foul ball. One out and a runner at second. Ball. Off the plate, and it's three and two. To third, Smith throws the first in time. And up next for Detroit, Spencer Torkelson. In there at the knees for a strike. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat. Drive in that run. You may not have another runner in scoring position the rest of this ballgame. And now the lefty. And one and two. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Man on second, two down. Breaking ball inside. Now two and two. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He scores. It's three zip. Picks himself up an RBI. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. So two down, and next to hit for Detroit, Wenzel Perez. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. Two outs. This one popped up, middle of the infield. Smith hauls it in to end the inning. Three runs for him here, and they move ahead. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Tigers three, and the Rangers coming to bat. Back in Arlington, today's starting pitcher, Casey Mize. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good we tempo, go. don't give racing. hitters time to adjust the or think. Basement. They could move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Marcus uh -huh. Simeon leading things off and takes a strike. Next no. pitch is outside. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Under it. And there's one down. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. 
Yeah, the sixth spot for them in this one, Nathaniel Lowe. And Boog, he's a fun at bat to watch. I mean, definitely a threat whenever he's got that bat in his hands. But for me, it's it's all about the mechanics. They're so sound. And when he gets his foot down on time and starts his swing, so much consistency, that bat stays in the zone for a long time, and he squares up the baseball a lot. Corey Seager now at the plate as he thought about that one but held back. One down, base is empty. And no, that's, that's off it. the inside edge. And that's ball two. <laughs> Left hand hitter waits. Right. Swing and a miss as he chases that one Two darting balls. out of the Two zone. Strikes. Outside low, three and two now. You now with the shift on, hits right into it. Throws the first in time, and Seager is set down. That is good. The third baseman. Two outs, base is empty. Josh Smith now at the plate. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed but he does. Line drive and that's a base hitter to right. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Now a chance for Adolis Garcia. That one to first, and he can't come up with it. And he's going to make Thanks. it to first, and we'll see how they score it. That is it. The center field. First and second, two down. So next to hit for Texas, Leody Tavares. That's inside, and it's one and zero. Oh. Right-hander kicks, deals. That catches the corner. Next pitch in for a strike. One and two. Kicks and fires. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Two on, two outs. Foul ball still one and two count. Righty delivers. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Smith, the lead runner out at second. Garcia on at first with two now. Swing and a broken bat roller towards third. They take the force out. Play made. That ends the inning. Rangers leave a pair. They trail in this one. Three nothing. the second now it's Javier Baez and the pitch That's and this is inside that one missed Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff in the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. And another ball.
Swing and a miss. Three and two now. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Three, two. Struck him out looking. Fastball at the letters, frozen for strike three. Jake Rogers digs in now. Jake Rogers. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. That clips the corner. Time to look at our umpiring crew in this one. Kenny Jansen behind the plate. Yeah, and expect a little inconsistency on the corners. He doesn't make any wild calls, but he does give and take there a little bit, so he doesn't have the easiest strike zone to figure out, especially as the game goes on when you're expecting it to become more consistent. What about some no-nos? Like, you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah. One, two, Even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name. And uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player. The one, two. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. Oh, no. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four umpires, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. The pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Deep drive down the line, foul ball. Got a good solid contact right there, just a bit out in front of that fastball. Got to try to stay on that bat side just a little bit longer and see if you can do some damage. And he chases that one. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Matt Veerling. He let off the game with a single and then came around to score. And a good eye there. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top of the second. And it's fouled away. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. Down in order go the Tigers. But they lead it 3 nothing. Nathaniel Lowe. Mize back to work. Up the middle. On the run, sends it over to first. On target. He got him. Nice play. And here's the catcher, Jonah Heim. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller. Good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. The pitch. You come into the game knowing that Unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits, some slogs, some home runs can come into play. Pitch misses three and one. Well, I'll say this as a former position player and base stealer, when you come into a game and you've got a guy like this behind the dish with a big arm, 
you really have to change your approach. Can't try to steal because you'll get thrown out. Maybe get a little bigger lead, be aggressive on the secondary, but this type of guy shuts the running game down. Ezekiel Duran stepping in for the Rangers. I'm liking what I've seen from him at the dish lately, hitting better than 350 this month. And first offering is fouled off. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Torkelson brings it in for the third out. One, two, three, go the Rangers. They trail it here, three nothing. Top half of the third inning, now the number two hitter, Andy Abanez. And a pitch. And that one clips the corner. Well, no these ball. Tigers What's doing right? a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensives. This one blasted the other way, down the line, and it's a foul ball. A lot of pop in that bat, had the distance for the off home run, but many times you have that slice going to the opposite field, and he just couldn't keep that one fair. The 0-2. Right back to him on the mound. Over to first. Out. One up, one down. Up next to the Tigers, the left fielder, Mark Canna. And next up for the Tigers, Mark Canna. Singled and scored his first time. Right through there for a strike. Ball. Misses no. just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Well, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. The pitch. Ball two. One out, base is empty. Next Ball. pitch is outside. 3-1. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Gathered in by Seeger. Yeah. Throw to first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Two outs, base is empty. Gior Shella steps in. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. There's a strike. Not sure if he was expecting oh, for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. Two outs. Pitch one misses one. there. And one and one. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around first, heading for two. Throws to second, and he'll pull into second with two gone. Just a really nice job of turning on that pitch and smoking it down the line. And there's no one playing there, so once it drops in fair, you're on your way to extra bases. And now the batter is Carson Kelly. Swinging a foul straight back. Bouncer to second. Simeon throws to first. That ends the frame. Tigers leave one, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing.
And we're back. Here's the rookie right fielder, Evan Carter. The right fielder. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Left field, Canna sizes this one up, makes the catch for the out. And a quick out, number one. The batter, number two, second baseman. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Flied to right his first time. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Just no. missed. Next offering is in for a strike. The line to kick the pitch. That's two, way two. outside. It's two and two. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Rogers makes the grab for the second out. The batter, number five. Good stop. Corey. Seager. Seager stands in now. Grounded out his first time up. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in. Throw is offline, and he's got a double. He put a great swing on that ball. Took the barrel right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. Down the third baseman, Josh Smith. And he's already singled in this game. That That's one's the in there. 0-1-1. One, one. Seager stands at second with two gone. <laughs> Top of the zone for a called strike. These fans, they are... Ready to cheer about something. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Man at second. That's down and in. A slider missed. That's a really good take right there. A slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. At the belt and fires. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Two outs. And one in scoring position. Next offering upstairs. Man on second, two down. And another ball. He goes down looking. One left for Texas. Still down, 3 nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark as we go to the top of the fourth. And now the first baseman, Spencer Torkelson. And a pitch. Swing and a high fly ball, pretty well struck right field. He won't get there. That should be extra bases. Safe at second with a leadoff double. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay.
Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Wenzel Perez. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. That one fouled off. Line drive, base hit. Coming around third is Torkelson. Fires it to the plate. Safe. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Javi Baez digs in right side. Went down on strikes his first time through. Just no, off the fine. inside edge. Here comes a pitch. Run around the goal. Pitch is low. Safe at second, and he easily steals the bag. Well, I'm sure that steal will raise a couple of eyebrows because of this big lead, but I think it's more respect for their opponent, knowing that they've got to continue to add on if they're going to win this game. Don't take it as an offense. Take it as a sign of respect. Out to short. Seeger tosses across the first. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Now here's the Detroit catcher, Jake Rogers. He was a strikeout victim his first time. That to right, Carter on his way over. He's got it. Rounder tags at second, and he's up to third safely with two gone. The right fielder, number eight. Matt Veerling. Matt Veerling up now for the Tigers. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. No, That's inside. inside. That's a base hit. Run scores. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Runner at first with two away. Andy Abanez up now for the Tigers. Fastball for a strike. pitch that's a strike and it's 0 and 2 Ball. in the dirt and the runner holds two runs across in the inning top half of inning number four wouldn't Ball chase two. that time well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact, so not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Tigers five and the Rangers nothing. Back in Arlington, go. ready to go, Rangers. bottom four. Now at the plate, Adolis Garcia. The wind of the pitch. 
That's yep. in for a strike at 95. It's 0-1. Well, these Rangers just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. That misses. And the count is even two and two. Righty to the plate. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. The wind of the pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. 2 2 now. And yeah, there's a the ball. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Check swing at a 3 2. Appeal down to first. Did not go. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Man, at first, here's Leody Tavares. He's 0 for 1. That one in there across the letters. Ball. Next offering is down low. Runner at first with no outs here. Right through there for a strike. A one-two count. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. And the righty deals. In the air, left side. Canna makes the grab. Now batting. The first baseman, Nathaniel. Nathaniel low up to hit. Grounded out to short in his first trip. This is inside, and that is ball one. High fly ball, right field. Puts it away for the out, and there are two outs. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive now it. Catcher, Joda. Up next for the Rangers, Jonah Heim. 0 for 1 so far. In the air, left field, down the line. He's there. He's got it. And that will end the inning. Rangers leave one. Still looking at that 5 nothing deficit. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Michael Lorenzen. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. And here is Mark Canna. The left fielder, Mark Canna. And the pitch. In there at the knees. That's strike one. A sliding stop it short to first. And that's a great play for the out. Well, Boog, as an infielder, you have to be ready for anything. In that spot, it required going to the ground, getting a little dirty, and making a strong throw for the out. Great play. Here's Gio Urshela. One for two. Just missed. No. 
Base is empty one away and we're at the top of the fifth. That one at 95 missed up top and the count is two and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. The 2-2 two -two on the way. That's and another ball. Full count. Up the middle, and that one finds its way through. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Tying in on the swing was good, able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying ah. off. Kelly, batting with one down, takes the strike. Urshela stands at first with one out. On the ground, two ball. One at second. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Tigers five and the Rangers nothing. Back at Globe Life Field, here's the left fielder, Ezekiel Duran. The right-hander back to work. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Well, these Rangers need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. Rogers makes the grab the one right away. Leader, number 32, Evan. Next Carter. up for Texas, Evan Carter. Fly to left his first time. And pitch in for a strike. Going one. Ball one there. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. Breaks his bat and pops it up. Urshela makes the grab, and there's two gone. Now back, second baseman, Marcus. Simeon. Last chance now for the Rangers. Here is Marcus Simeon. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. And that's downstairs and outside. 1-1. One, one. They're down to their final strike. Looking sharp one just ball. to strike away Good from strike. five shutout innings. This could end it. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The Tigers leading by five. Last half of inning number five. Two outs. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there are some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches oh, on one hitter. That one is upstairs. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. Hit to right, and that should do it. And that'll do it. The Tigers get a shutout on the mound.
after four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll, and that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Players start hitting up and down the lineup. You never know who's going to come up with the big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs, but it's a good feeling, and you want to extend it. 5 nothing the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.